In this video, I'll show you how to use the search API to quickly locate character sheets and handouts that contain a particular bit of information. Now, quick disclaimer, because this is using the API, it does require a pro account. All right, so let's get started. I'm logged into my Empire of the Ghouls campaign, which is from Kobold Press, and it's a very big, extensive campaign. There are a lot of handouts, there are a lot of NPCs, there's a lot going on inside this particular adventure. And what I want to do is search for the name Siwal, which is a city in the Empire of the Ghouls. I want to find all of the information, all the sheets, everything that has a reference to Siwal. But if I use Roll20's built-in search here, if I look for Siwal right now, then what I get is a bunch of essentially dead links. These are all the section headers and... As I click on them, you notice they change from pluses to minuses. That means there's nothing in here related to them. Ah, but here we go. Chapter 4 has some stuff about Siwal. And there's the Siwal uh, description and whatnot. That's great. But this search is, is not really good, honestly. Because it only gives me things that effectively match that one term. The things that are like at this level. Like they're not showing me any characters who have references to Siwal in their bios. It's not showing me any other handouts that make references to Siwal. And I want to find things related to Siwal because it's an important location in the campaign. So instead of using the native search here, I've installed the search API, which is part of the standard Roll20 API library. So you can just go out here to script library and grab it. And once it's installed, you can run commands like this. So I can say exclamation point search Siwal. And now you'll notice we get back a bunch of matches here. These results do get whispered to you, so it's not going to show up in everybody's chat. Um, and you've got things marked with H's. Those are handouts. And things marked with C's are characters. So now I can click on this, and that will pull up information about the necropolis of Siwal. But then I also see other handouts that are relevant here. I see that we have Siwal show up in this chapter background and summary. Siwal shows up in a couple of the characters here. So I can see all the places that have a reference to Siwal. Now, one quick aside. In the results, if you click on one of them and you pop open one of the, the handouts or character sheets, it doesn't highlight the term in here. So if you want to see exactly where Siwal is in this handout, I would recommend you click this button right here to pop this out into its own window, and then you can do a control F to find Siwal. But the point is now we see all the handouts that have that term inside of it, all the characters that have that term inside of it. We can refine this further if we only wanted to see the uh, handouts that had this, not the characters, we could say search, and then we'd say on handout, and then Siwal. And now you see my I've rerun my search here and 14 results, and we're only looking at H's, right? So only handouts. Um, I could do the same thing, but change it to on character for Siwal. Now we only see there are those two characters. We can even get more specific. We can say we want to search on the handouts in a specific field. So in the notes field of the handout, we want to see Siwal. And there's only one of those right here. Maybe we only want to see things that are in the GM notes. And you do have to be a GM to, to do this. And you see there's a bunch of these that come back in the GM notes. So I can look in specific types of items. I can look in handouts or in character sheets. And then I can look in specific places in those sheets as well. We can do something similar with character sh sheets. We can say search on character in bio Siwal, and that's going to show us the characters that have a reference to Siwal in their bios. Now, a couple of things to note about about this script it does take a little while for it to load up so when you install it and you get everything running in your api console you're gonna see messages like these so when your game starts there's gonna be these load corpus messages that get logged and for me you can see it took about 146.63 seconds for the indexing to finish so my 
Search wasn't ready to go until about two minutes after I launched my game. Not a big deal for me personally, I just launched the game, let it go, and then I can search. There's also a re-index command where you type in exclamation point search dash dash re-index and that rebuilds the search index. Um, according to the documentation, you only need to do this when you make changes like uh, adding permissions and, and stuff like that. You can also search for multiple terms. So for example, I can search for this particular NPC in the game and you can see now the search kicks back all of the things related to that NPC. There's their character sheet, and then here are all the places where they appear in the adventure. So that's really handy as well. Now, there are some other capabilities that this script provides as far as the searching goes. Um, if I come back in here, you can see there's it says six ways to enter terms. And basically, these give you ways to weight the results. So you can mark words as more important, as less important, and, and so on. Honestly, I don't use any of that stuff. I just use this as a basic search. If you're interested in weighting your results, then by all means, have a look at the documentation and you can get more out of it. Um, but I really just wanted to showcase how this script worked and the utility that it provides because the native search that Roll20 gives you is very limited. This really gives you the ability to get in there, find all the handouts that have references to certain places, certain people, certain artifacts, and it's very helpful for the big campaigns. Empire of the Ghouls is a pretty extensive. If you're running like Dungeon of the Mad Mage, it'd be pretty extensive. If you had imported something like Masks of Nair Lothotep for Call of Cthulhu or something like that, all those sorts of big scale adventures would benefit from something like this search API. So quick video this week, just wanted to give you folks a heads up on how to use this script. Hope you found this helpful. And in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day.